so <clears throat> welcome welcome to those guys that are new um so i taught a class last year if you haven't watched it yet on the top lead sources that were out at the time ones that i tried what was working and um since then there's been some new things that have come into the marketplace, but then also some of the things that were working aren't working. And so I figured it was time to revisit and um, and see what was what was out there. Give you guys some guidance there. Um, one of the things I want to remind you about is, number one, there is not one place for business to come from. OK, so there's not one magic pill. There's not one magic source. There's not one end all be all great place where you're going to get all of your source, you know, your leads from um, that's just going to make your business flourish. That's that's false. So if you're here because of that, you know, not a good idea. Um, so that's the truth. The other thing is just because something is working now or was working, that doesn't mean it's always going to work. So if you're going to continue to stay relevant in the business, you have to be able to change as things change in the business. Right. And if we don't do that, you're just going to be left dead in the water or you're going to start to decrease in what you're selling. So you have to pay very close attention to what's going on with your business, where your business is coming from and continue to make assessments on what's working and what's not. OK, um, the other thing is, um, and depending on the area that you live in, some of these may work better than others. So I encourage you to test them out. You don't know unless you do. Um, hopefully you're investing a little bit in your business so that you have the ability to invest in some, um, some different marketing techniques so you can see what's going to work for you. And then eventually, if you've taken any of my classes or if you are in my mastermind, you know that eventually you shouldn't need any of these, right? If you build yourself a business, which is what I teach you to do, then you have people continuing to come back to you and referring other people. And I mean, living proof for the last four years, 95% of my business is all referral and repeat business. And I do no other advertising. Okay, so you shouldn't have to do this forever. It's a great filler. Um, but if you're missing other parts and pieces about your business, then you need to message me um, about how else you can be helped because you should be getting more people coming back to you. Okay, um, I think that's all I was going to tell you. Oh, I did want to do one quick announcement that March 11th, I'm going to start doing a 90 minute workshop every month. So the format for Fridays is changing. If you hadn't heard, um, Agent Leader Academy is going to be taking over. It's mine, but it's taking over. And what that format is, is one 90 minute workshop every month. And then two weeks later, we have a Q and A. And it's a Q and A slash collaboration. So what, what the purpose of this is, is to give you a playbook every single month that you can be able to institute in your business. Um, and then when we get together two weeks later, you still have time to make some adjustments, see what you maybe did wrong, what you need to change. It's going to give you something to focus on every month to continue to move your business forward. Okay, so that is Agent Leader Academy. It is $49 a month. Um, you will have access to all the past trainings that we've had for our Friday trainings, which there's a good 60 plus trainings in there. So you will have access to those as well at that price. Um, and then I will be teaching one free Friday every single month on a coaching topic. Um, so you're always able to join one of those. So with that being said, let's get into it. Okay. So we're going to go through some of these. We're going to kind of skim over a little bit faster. You've heard of them, right? We've done this before, but um, I want to still hit on what's working, what's not working. So the first thing was let's hit on the let's hit on the obvious, right? With our Zillow. So if you are in a market where you have a little bit more inventory and the price for Zillow leads is not too expensive, it's not a bad idea. It can provide you business coming in, okay? Where this stopped working was when we had such low inventory that there wasn't enough houses on the market for anybody to be clicking on anything. So most of what you're gonna get off of Zillow is gonna be your buyers. A lot of times they have something to sell as well, so you can pick them up for both. However, if your inventory is so low that there's nothing for them to even inquire about, then you're wasting money, okay? And I think Zillow saw a lot of people cancel 
during that period of time when the inventory really spiked down. So you can take advantage of Zillow always by having your profile up on Zillow, having a good bio and making sure that you have your sales recorded and that you have some reviews on there. When people go to search for an agent, whether like if you are not searchable or you have no bio and you have no stats recorded on there, you're going to have a hard time picking up anyone off of that. So free business can come from making sure that you have your profile all set up on there and that you continue to record your sales. Zillow changed now that they're members of the MLS in most of the states. I don't know how many, um, but they are automatically recording our sales now in Zillow. So your stats will automatically show up. However, your reviews do not. So you need to make sure that you are asking for those reviews. Of course, I have a class on how to do that in a very efficient way to get people to do reviews. Um, okay, so that's, that's Zillow. The other thing is, if you are in an area where you can look on the outskirts, maybe in a little less developed area, if you're in a larger city, if you look in a, in a smaller area, then the price to buy into Zillow leads is going to be a whole lot less expensive. So instead of going into your really expensive markets, if you want to just tap in and try to get a little bit more business, tap into a, an area that's further out. And yeah, it may take you driving a little bit more to go service those clients. However, like it's still business, right? Business is business. And if you don't have money coming in, like if you don't have enough business, then do whatever you can to find it. We're not looking for easy business. We're looking for business, okay? Easy business comes 10 years later, five years later, not now. Okay, same thing with our realtor.com. So our, we're gonna talk um, that and our op city, okay? So depending on which area you're in, your realtor.com, same thing, have your profile up. You can buy leads from them. There's two options for leads for realtor.com. You can compete with another agent. So every lead goes out to two people. And then whoever calls them first, they can get both phone calls, but you're competing with another agent. Um, so there's that. The next part of that is um, you can also pay more money and then you can be able to get leads just coming directly to you and you don't compete with anybody. Again, look on your outskirts, look in areas that are a little bit less expensive instead of your really high demand areas that are a lot more expensive, unless you have money that you want to throw away on it. If the inventory is high enough, then you will be able to get leads coming off of there. They, they have a good system. I would say these two, love Zillow or not, like they still have a pretty good system for, um, their system's very user-friendly. So they tend to get people logging in or whatever, you know, clicking on stuff and asking for agents, okay? I just remembered one thing I'm gonna write down. I wanna tell you about, okay. So there's those. So Op City is owned by realtor.com. The lead quality is usually slightly in the toilet. Um, just know that with real with the Op City leads that you may be sifting through a lot more bad ones to get to the good ones, but there are good ones in there. So Op City doesn't cost anything up front. You pay a 35 to 43% fee on the back end when you close something. So it's a little stiff, but again, it's free business on the front end, right? Be very careful. Their contract does say that they own the client for a year. I believe it is two. Thank you, Adam. So they own the client for two years. How do they track that? Beats me. I, if the client's going to move again, I good luck with that. Um, but but they say that they own them for two years. Okay. And that's the same with a couple other of these as well. Um, but again, your, your broker has to sign you up for that. You can't sign yourself up for Op City. So you can check into that if that's not what you have. Um, the types of leads, we can go into a whole nother class talking about, depending on the lead, what bucket we put them in or what we do with them, because you don't treat a Zillow lead that comes in that's specifically asking to see a property the same as an Op City lead that comes in that's maybe just fishing around or doesn't answer their phone. We do two different things with those people, and we have to really categorize that to be most efficient with your time and not be spinning your wheels and not be frustrated. Um, okay. So this is like almost obsolete, I swear. They quit calling. Homes.com, um, they never figured it out. Um, I've never had anybody have luck with them. They're very inexpensive, but their leads are pretty well garbage. 
So if anyone has something different to say about it, go ahead and put it in the chat. But that's my experience that so far they have never figured out their process to be worth, you know, their weight in gold. So um, let's see. That's what I want. Okay, we have our fast expert. Okay, with our fast expert, um, they are 25% referral fee. Sorry, something's just beeping. 25% um, referral fee when you close. Their leads tend to be fairly good. They're not bad. Um, you have got to, this one's an update on this one. You have to record your sales. Uh, they do not automatically record your sales. So you have to go in and upload all of your sales in order to be able to get those recorded. You can, I believe, import um, reviews into there. They're also changing their system. They had some updates. So if you go kind of look on their website a little bit, they updated the way that they're ranking people. Um, they're trying to get a little bit more competitive is what it looks like to me. So uh, check them out. But free profile, it's, it's free to be on there. They do go by your stats. So when somebody goes and requests an agent on there, they usually will pull from their top, um, the top producers. Um, but depending on how many people have a profile in your area, you could not be a top producer and you can still be able to get leads off of there because nobody else has a profile, right? So don't discount like what you have, what you can do. Um, home light. Home light's the same. It's 25%. You pay it when you close. Um, they have a pretty good system. Their leads tend to be pretty good as well. Both of the leads that come off, um, have come off of here, um, both of the leads that have come off of here have actually been pretty legit. Uh, we've closed a number of them. Um, they don't come through often. This is not like a really frequent leads that come through. But again, when you have 15 or 20 different places that you're getting business from, then it's okay if they're not frequent. It's just another drop in the bucket, right? Okay, I wanna talk about, I'm gonna get, you guys got those. We're gonna go on to a couple others here. So those are your main, um, I will talk to you about the Ramsey really quick. That is a 30%. Okay, so Dave Ramsey specifically, I had not had this in my, um, in my earlier training. I hadn't tested it out yet. So Dave Ramsey, it's a $3,000 investment. Um, you have to have a certain number of sales in order to qualify. And then you pay $3,000. You have to attend 10 out of 12 coaching sessions. They shame you. I'm just kidding. Well, they kind of do. Um, I'll get into that in a second. Anyway, you have to go through entire training for them, which is essentially the, the, the total money makeover. It's Dave Ramsey's babies, you know, eight baby sex. So you go through his program before they turn on your leads. Once they turn on your leads, depending on the area you're in, they're not terribly frequent. And you also pay $349 per month, like a maintenance fee. So you're paying pretty heavy up front, you're paying on the back end and you're paying a monthly maintenance fee. So it's pretty expensive and the lead quality, the kicker with these guys is that they get three agents calling them every single time a lead goes out. So number one, I feel like that's really overwhelming for the clients to get that many people, two maybe, but three is like overwhelming, but they get three phone calls and they are adamant about, and they babysit you. I'm telling you, they babysit you on how often you're calling. They want you to call once a day for 14 days. They're, they're, there's this whole process. So they're pretty, I would say the word intense. Um, and then it was really funny. I had, I had a check-in coaching call with the coach on there this last week. And we were talking about what baby step I was in and I was going to pay off my house. And she's like, oh, did you get your house paid off? And I said, no, I found a piece of land I'm investing. And she's like, and I got shamed. I got shamed people for that. And I was like, hold up. I'm going to make like over a million dollars off my investment. I'll pay off my house when I make my million dollars. Don't shame me. What the hey? Anyway, so they're, they're a little bit more on the intent end. That's all I can say. So, and it's expensive. So we'll see as the year goes on. Um, I signed up for that to just test it out. 
The other thing is if you have a team, they do not want you to push off the leads to team members at all. They want you listing every single house. They want you calling every single client. Like they do not want you to push it off. They don't want your team to do it. They don't want your assistants to do it. They're, they're very, very adamant. So it's a little bit, a little bit tough there. Um, okay. This is one my husband tried out. I don't know if, it, if anybody's heard of real pin. So real pin, the premise for that was it was a couple guys that supposedly came from realtor.com and maybe one from Zillow. Don't quote me, but I know one came from realtor.com. And so their pitch was that they knew the interface for customers to be able to convert them to, to get them as leads, um, that they were really good quality leads. They talked about how great the lead quality was and it's been pretty well junk. So I think he's been in it. Uh, we've been testing this out. He's been in it six months. It's $1,000 a month to be in this one. And he's had 35 leads and he's been able to really get a hold of and close one. So those are not very good numbers because I mean, now we're in $6,000, right? And I think he made eight or $10,000 on this sale. So we're not, like, it's not becoming worth time. Um, so they either step up their game or it sounds like we'll be canceling that one. So it was a good try. We thought we'd figure it out, you know, test it out and see if it worked or not. But it's, I'm not preferring that one. Um, I'm not suggesting it. Maybe it's different in the area that you're in. They have a month to month contract, I believe. So you could test it out for a month and then cancel if you feel like throwing some money away, go for it. Um, but there's a lot of people that aren't real leads. I'll get to that in a second, the real leads versus not real leads and why we're seeing differences there. So I believe it was called Regentology. Region? I don't think it was Agentology. I think it was Regentology. Um, these guys kept calling. They called some of my other agents in the Elevate group. They called me before. Um, we checked into them. Essentially, this is what's happening. Let me give you the the lowdown. As your home light and your fast expert, they came after your Zillow and your realtor.com, right? As big ones. And when, so Zillow and realtor.com, the progression of this is those guys paid the upfront, like you pay upfront to be able to get the leads. That was the model. Then the business model changed when you had your home light, your fast expert, and your op city, who used to not be owned by realtor.com. Though the business model then became, oh, you get free leads, but you pay 25 or 35 or 43% um, on the back end when you close. <coughs> Hang tight, hold on. Okay. So you paid when you closed, right? It just wrote on myself. Um, anyway, so then when realtor.com bought Op City, they changed that format, they took some of their leads out of um, areas that they had them in. They decreased the number of the upfront leads people were getting, and they converted those to the free back end, making the 43%, 40 to 43%. So everybody's jumped on this free leads, pay 20 to 35 or 45% on the back end bandwagon. Okay. That's what this company is. And what I'm finding is I'm always looking at the customer interface. Like what, what is it that they're seeing and what's converting them to click on whatever? What does the customer, when they find an ad or it's usually an ad of some sort, or they go to a website, what are they clicking on? What do they think they're getting or what are they asking for? This is the problem that I'm finding. So most of these, they're all running some sort of Facebook or Google ads. That's how they're drawing them in. Essentially all this like Facebook, Instagram marketing, that's what these companies are doing, okay? But having tried out myself, we ran Facebook ads to landing pages to get people to opt in, right? To, um, to have us give them a call. We ran those and th this is what happens. People click on it, they fill in their information, and they didn't know why they're filling in their information. Like we made it very clear why they fill it in. 
and then we get the lead. We give them a call right away. So we know they just filled out this information, but for some reason, they don't understand why we're calling them, okay? Over and over and over. This is your internet, like your Facebook and Instagram leads. This is just how they are. People are dumb. I don't know what to say. Like, why do you put in your information unless the kid down the street's putting in your information because they think they're funny? Why? Why are you doing that, right? So that's what this company's doing as well. It's not worth it. I think they charge you a couple hundred bucks up front, but there are other ways. I feel like, and this is some of this training that's going to come out in the workshops, we need to shift, right? Like we still have all, all the things that we've talked about so far. We still have all those avenues, the ones that really work, which are your top four. I'm going to say your Zillow, your Realtor.com, your Home Light, your Fast Expert. Those would be the top four that I would say there are out there. Easy, you know, low barrier to entry, and you get leads that are ready to do something, not chasing people. Okay. So those are probably your top. You could throw your op city in there too, again, depending on your area um, and how busy you are. If you get too busy, you don't have time to chase people down. You have time to take a phone call and say, how can I help you? What do you need? And then take that person from that point and start taking action. But it's very hard to take action from a person who says, well, I don't know why you're calling me. Well, I'm not exactly sure what I need. Well, I don't know how you got my phone number. What, what the hey am I supposed to do with you then? Nothing, move on to the next, right? Um, so be very aware of any of these companies. They're popping up all over the place, all different names. Do you need, do you need leads? We have leads, you pay 25% on the back end. Like be very aware. You can be doing this yourself, okay? So there are going to be better ways. There are better ways that we are finding to advertise, whether it's via Facebook and Instagram or Google ads um, or other places that you can find business that's going to be better leads than what these other companies are providing to you, okay? That's a whole nother class. Um, but my question for you now is, and you can throw in the chat, does anybody have any that we haven't discussed that work for you or that you have questions about? And I will put, I will put notes out um, on the replay. I'll, I'll send out notes, but, oh, thank you, Jackie. I don't know how I forgot it. That's why I love you when you're here. Okay, our Ojo, okay? I gotta tell you a story about this one. So Ojo charges, guys, remind me, 35%, right? All right, I think we're 35% with Ojo. I think we're 35%. Okay, so Ojo really came out about a year ago. Thank you, Jackie. Like that didn't sound right. 30, they're all over the place. 25, 20. Um, okay, so Ojo leads. They are good leads. Um, they have been people, like the customer interface for Ojo, hands down, is actually really good, okay? So if you go to the Movado.com, Movado, um, you can see what their website looks like. It's a very easy customer interface, right? That matters to people. That's why Zillow got so popular because their interface was really pleasing. So people who click on there that say they want help you, they're purchasing or they have something to sell, they're pretty legit. Um, we don't get people that say, I don't know why you're calling me. You win the lead with the Ojos. So it goes out to the masses of agents that are signed up but the first person that clicks on it takes the first place and that's the person that, that takes the phone call or calls the, um, calls the client, right? So it's nice because you're not competing against multiple agents. So in that respect, it's a good platform. Now, they sort of pissed me off. So I wanna tell you just a small story about how they're getting a little intense, okay? So we had a client, um, love our clients. She had seven social security numbers. She was in the middle of having a baby. So she was going to be taking time off of work. Uh, there were like so many obstacles in getting her qualified. So in the middle of this, she seriously has the baby. Um, she's short on funds. Like it was a whole, whole mess. It was like a three month hot mess. 
Finally, this is my husband's client. Finally, the lender concedes to like remove a bunch of fees because she was so tight on funds. And then um, my husband forfeited his entire commission, gave it to her for her closing costs. Okay. So he makes zero money. The lender makes pretty much zero money, but we got the lady in the house who had the baby. Like that was the goal. Sometimes that's the goal and that's where we get to. Okay. So, <coughs> sorry. So fast forward, like there's no commission that got paid out. Ojo wants us to pay a 30% commission, like 30% of, of what we would have been paid to them. And it's like, but wait, we didn't take home any money. And they're arguing and arguing and arguing. And my guess is that they're having people skirt around paying them somehow. Like if, you, if I take a lead and I maybe give that lead to somebody else in my office and I don't tell Ojo about it, like, right? I mean, you could be dishonest about it. So um, anyway, they're, they're pressuring, pressuring, pressuring. And they said, you know what? So it's, it's for whatever reason they're saying, however much you would have been paid, if you choose to reduce your commission by any amount, it does not matter to them. You still owe them the, same, the full amount. So just be aware, they're kind of, eh, right? Kind of piss me off because come on, lady, baby, seven social security numbers, give us a better lead next time. That's what I said. It's like, really great. You gave us a really difficult person that we actually got in a home and now we're getting punished for that. So off my soapbox, but be very aware. So that, that warning is why I'm giving you is because they also say that their clients are theirs for two years. And I would just... I would hedge my bet that they're going to find some system to track that. I bet you anything because they want their money. So be very aware of that. Um, and then, yes, you do have to sign up through your brokerage if you do not have a minimum of 24 sales. You have to have 24 sales. If that's the case, then you can sign up by yourself. If it's less than that, then you have to go underneath your broker or somebody else, a team lead or something like that. So my newer agents are all under me. Um, anyway, that being said, we're closing quite a few of them. Even my assistant who doesn't really sell houses, except for sometimes she just will take leads. I think she closed like five or six of them last year, just off of Ojo. She's pretty quick with the, with the phone. So um, we're going to have a whole class um, we're going to have a whole class. So on March 11th, the class is on our follow-up. Okay. This is all fix your follow-up, increase your income. If you don't have the correct follow-up and I'm talking after the sale follow-up, if you don't have the after the sale follow-up, then you're doing yourself a disservice, your clients a disservice. The number of repeat business that comes in and referrals that come in combined, it's like 30, gosh, I put it the stat, it's like 35% or less. And here's what's interesting. Most buyers say that they would refer or re reuse the same agent. 90% of them said they would reuse the same agent. Okay. When it comes to sellers, 75% of them said that they would use the same agent. But combined buyers and sellers, the rate that we're getting or and that they would refer them to other people, sorry. But the national rate is like 35% total between those two. So how do we go from 75 to 90% of, yes, I'm going to use you again. And yes, I'm going to refer you to other people because I'm so happy with my agent. It's not that I'm displeased to um, now we're getting a 35% referral repeat business rate. Like there's a disconnect, right? So we're filling in that gap of the disconnect because then you're not working so hard to go find more business, more business, more business. They just come to you all the time, okay? So really important, no matter how many clients you have, no matter how many houses that you've sold. So we're gonna dig into that. Um, there is also within that a way to be able to market yourself, which will get you business. So again, it's your own lead source. It's your own personal lead source. Instead of relying on all these companies, that's not what you wanna do. And where everything has gone so 
digital and easy and there's all these automated systems and all this stuff right the disconnect is that personal connection as everything's gotten so much easier and so much more automated we're missing the personal connection so if you want to get ahead of the game then what i'm going to be teaching this year in all the playbooks is things that have to do with or that you can apply toward a personal connection in your advertising, your marketing, your follow-up, what you're doing during transactions, all of it. That's what's going to help you stand out from the crowd, from all the other agents that are out there. Because there's a record number, by the way, of agents in the entire United States. So we have more agents now than we have ever had, ever. Everyone got their license. Right, more people continue to get their license. The competition will not go away. So you have to be different. Okay, you have to be different. Does anybody have any comments, questions, or things that I did not touch on that you have heard of that you have questions about? Lisa, this is Connie. Hey, I don't know if you got, I made a comment that Ojo will also contact all of your leads and follow up with them to make sure you're contacting them and to make sure um, you're the one doing it. And I, yeah, I, it is interesting how, yes. yeah. Yeah, they're, they're um, when they, they want to make sure they get paid. They want to make sure they get paid. I think they're having too many people skirt it. I really do. I think people figured out how to, how to get a lead and pass it to somebody else or, or whatever so they can't track it. Um, so that's, that's my guess too. So just be aware of what you're dealing with at that, you know, when you're taking those leads, there's still money, they're still good, but you just have to be aware that if they're tracking them during the transaction, then they probably are going to start to institute if they haven't yet some sort of follow-up system, or they'd be smart to institute a follow-up system to be able to see if that client moves in a year. And if that client's going to move in a year, then are they going to be using the same agent and are they going to, you know, tack those two things together? And if for some reason that client moves in a year and they use the same agent and somehow Ojo can find that out, they're going to come back to you asking for money because you signed a contract. So just be well aware of who you're dealing with and how you're dealing with them. You know, and I mean, if you, if you deal in honesty, then you'll be fine. Just deal in honesty. So I had one come in and <clears throat> you guys probably get this too. I had a son call for a mom. So the lead name on there was the son's name, right? But the person actually purchasing was the mom. So who was I technically under contract with? The son, right? But something inside me said, probably not a good idea. I mean, in all honesty, like they should get paid for the lead. And that was the fast expert one. And I did, I called them. I actually had them change the information over on the lead to the, the mom's name so that it was registering correctly. So, um, and, I, and I paid them. Like what goes around comes around. So if you wanna to try to cheat the system, go for it, but you're not gonna survive as long as if you're just honest. So, um, okay. You get that too with languages. You get the kids that call if they speak English, parents don't speak English, you know, that sort of thing. Um, the workshop, what time is the workshop starting on the 11th? So the 11th is a Friday. It is going to start at 10 a.m. So same time, mountain time as this class every single time. But now we're going 90 minutes, okay? So you're gonna get a ton of information and value that we're gonna work through in 90 minutes, the worksheets, everything that you can implement in your business. This is the same stuff that I am teaching to my local agents as well that we're going to be implementing in their businesses as well. And the, the thought is we can go like, look at this, we're already March. Like, where are you in your stats for the year? How much have you sold? Like, if you look at what your goal is for the year, are you as far along as what you thought you were going to be? Are you further? Are you not quite as far? Like, what's, what's the deal, right? It's very easy for us to be like, gosh, it's March already. We've been through two months. And if we haven't implemented something new or focused on something, time can fly by, like totally fly by. 
And then before we know it, we're a quarter way through the year and we're behind on our goals, right? So this is really, again, it's like the red truck story. If you're looking for red trucks, all of a sudden there's red trucks everywhere. So if we are focusing on one thing each month, one playbook each month, that will help us just dive in and focus and make more progress in that one area, which is better than spreading it out over 10 different things. And we're not really making, we're not making the kind of progress that we could if we are focusing, okay? Adam will like this. It's like kicking 10 soccer balls. You can either kick one soccer ball really far or you can run up and down the line and kick all of them a little bit. But which one's gonna take you farther? Right, focusing on the one and getting it further. And Adam can probably say that better because he used to coach soccer. Um, where do you sign up for the $49 a month? So watch your emails next week. If you, if stuff goes to your junk email, if you're not getting what I send you, um, check your junk um, in case it goes to there. Sometimes marketing emails will go to there. Um, I try not to over email you. You usually should only get twice a week. Um, but, um, but yeah, you will find that next, next week should be coming out. We're just redoing a few things and, uh, and I'll, I'll be sending out signups for that. So it is a monthly subscription. It's monthly cancel. If you don't want to stay in it, you can do one month. You can do all the months, like whatever you want. All of the trainings are on a private podcast as well. So, you know, all the past 60 trainings that are going to be loaded in there as well for you. Those are all on the private podcast. So you can be able to drive in your car and listen to something um, something new if you would like a topic that you might be in need of while we're all driving around working. So, but I would not miss the live shows and then the Q and A's and we're gonna collaborate guys. Like we're gonna figure out, again, we're, we're taking, we're gonna take the power back from all these other companies. Like they don't get to have the power over us. Like we get to choose how we're marketing and like control the narrative because they all, there's so many of them now. It's just, it's out of control. We can find our own business for sure. So just another avenue. Um, yeah, Jackie, I'm not even gonna get into that at the moment, but yeah. Okay. Um, thank you guys for coming today. I appreciate you for being here, taking your time. And if you haven't been here before, welcome. Um, I will, so the new schedule will be the first week of the month will be a free Friday training. So I still will hold every Friday a free Friday training beginning of the month. The second week is our playbook. Okay. We have a bye week on the third week. And then we have our Q&A collaboration on the fourth week. So that's going to be the new schedule. So I will send that out and that will be on the website as well. Okay. And that will give you time to implement, test out, and then you're going to have some accountability coming back into the group because if we gave you the playbook and you're not doing anything like, you know, what's up? Can't complain about not having a business if we're not doing stuff. Um, Websiteagentleader.com is, is the website. So you can keep an eyeball on there. We should have it updated this next week. Right now, you're going to just see Blueprint Library. And I will tell you now, if you want to get in and sign up for Blueprint Library, we're rebranding. But if you sign up now, it's 29 bucks a month and you're locked in at that price. As of the end of next week, it will be going up to $49 a month. So and you'll get an email with that to sign up as well at the lower price. Um, so, um, no matter, so if you go to agentleader.com, you'll see a blueprint library is what you will see. You'll see some other offers that I have on there, but blueprint library is one of the classes. So lock yourself in at 29 bucks a month. It's cheaper. So, okay, guys, thanks for being here. I hope you learned something new, something you can take and go implement in your business. And I will catch you next week. <laughs>